This is a warning against the trend and fashion coming out in modern time in the world, they are abominations to the Lord, we must have fear, respect, obedience and worship to the one true God through his Son Jesus Christ, who said be holy like the Father, brother the Lord took me to a really dark place, I was very scared, the Lord told me not to fear for I am with you, I have you in my hands, you need to see what I want to show you. As we were in this place of darkness I could only see that light that shone from the Lord, the only light I could see was when the Lord moved in this place of total darkness, we were moving in something that looked like crystal, as we walked in hell I saw horrible figures, the Lord told me they were principality of the devil and I should not fear them. These power have their headquarters here in the kingdom of hell, and they are also sent to earth to do various mission and task of destruction. When I observe these principality holding huge chains I squeeze the hand of the Lord and he said to me do not fear they can do nothing to you. They will not touch you for I am your protection and your shield. The Lord said these words to me, you have a purpose to fulfill for I am sending you to my people. I want to use many of my people but they have preferred to deviate becoming contaminated with things of the world. They keep holding many things mundane. Tell my people that I am willing to release them if they come back to me, we were walking in this place of darkness quickly I began to see worms from all sides, as it says in the word of the Lord and I saw those great flames of fire and I felt fear, the Lord told me it is written in my words, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. As we were moving among principality in this horrendous place of fire and darkness these evil spirit kept cursing me, brother I listened to voices and cries of lost souls in this place, when they saw the Lord they cried desperately and they said Jesus get us out of here, when demons saw these lost souls begging to be saved by the Lord they got infuriated, I started hearing the voices of ferocious demons that tormented and torture them, at this moment the Lord told me. I will give you strength because of things that I will show you in this place, this is so that you warn my people, your family and closer one, as we move in this dark place the light of the Lord was illuminating this gruesome and terrifying environment, and the reflection of the Lord brilliance enable me to see a huge cell of fire, and inside this cell there was someone who was asking for help, I could hear him crying for help, he kept saying get me out of here, I say to the Lord who is this? The Lord told me I will give you strength, I'm with you don't worry, and when I got closer and I saw the man in this cell I started crying, I said Lord, this is my father, why is my daddy in this place, my father was a good person, nothing was missing in the family, he was good to others, why is my father in this place, the Lord told me, when I knocked and rang the door of his house he was always hiding deep inside the house and told people not to open the door. He said these evangelical are crazy, I sent my servant for his salvation but he closed the door calling my servant crazy, brother, this was true, my father always hides us deep inside the house and used to say the madmen have arrived, he called these evangelist madmen, every time soul winner came to knock he hid the whole family and would not open the door, my father always said, I am Roman Catholic apostle, I will not open the gate for these madmen. That's what my father said about the people that were trying to evangelize us and he made sure that these people were kept outside, the Lord said I tried to save him by sending my servant but he hardened his heart so he is in this place today, behold, I stand at the door and knock, if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and dine with him, and he with me, to the one who is victorious I will grant the right to sit with me on my throne just as I overcame and sat down with my father on his throne, when I looked at my father he said, I want water, since I died thirty years ago I have not drink water, I need water for I am thirsty, I'm here in this place forever and I will not leave, when you go back you will say to all my children to seek the path of the Lord, the path that you have been seeking, tell them to love the Lord, after saying this I saw my father crying, he cried and cried, he was tormented by worms, he wanted to take off those worms but many others overwhelmed him for there were countless worms in this terrifying place, dad kept saying, I want water, he kept telling me to ask the Lord to get him out of here for a second, and to get him some water, 
he kept asking for water, after this moment I could hear the hiccup from him, the Lord cry for these souls that are in this place, the Lord said, I tried hard to save so many of them yet they turned their back on me refusing to accept my word like your father who is here, I brought you here because I want you to preach my word, tell my people these things that you see here, brother, I saw my dad totally eaten by worms and he was burning in the fire, when I saw this terrible scene I cried and cried incessantly, the Lord tell me I am your helper I will give you strength to move on, when we left this cell where my father was with worms, quickly I saw a character a goddess, she was apparently afraid of the Lord, I noticed that this goddess had long hair, the Lord told me I will show you this character, brothers this diva was a tremendous principality of lady fashion and design, for she control women lifestyle and she is responsible for the trend, the Lord told me, you will warn my church and tell the world wherever you go about the devices and article of this principality, there are people who use these object which are her works, these object are prostitution symbols, and how many women wear chain, necklaces and bracelets, the word of God speak about to those who call for good evil and evil good, there are many people within the congregations that criticize and bad mouth preacher when they teach against these accessories such as chain, bracelet and necklace, the Lord said, whenever men of God preach and oppose women outward adornment and vanity, in truth it's not them, it's me, I am the one speaking through my vessels that I chose to speak to my people, so that they will not be contaminated by the accessory of the enemy, the Lord said this principality has entered within the congregations and has infested many servants with her item, whenever this goddess infiltrate a local church she would burst into laugh of triumph and mockery with arrogance in that place, she has entered many churches and is dominating, many churches are contaminated because of her items, I was with the Lord in this place in hell where I saw this principality sitting on her throne, there were worms, I saw this principality holding a hair straightener and she was also holding worms, and the Lord told me, this device that she is holding is a tool that many of my servant use in order to brush their hair but they wouldn't believe that a hair straightener is also made in hell but tell them that there will be many that will die of head cancer for not hearkening to my voice, there will be many cancerous tumors for my servant that using this product, many of my maid want their hair smoothed and when pastors opposed this they branded him old fashioned saying that this pastor is not in trend and out of style, for people want modernity and liberal gospel adjusted to modern times, woe to the one who is ignoring the warning, he who does not heed the voice of the Lord, the Lord said to me, when you tell your family that you saw your dad here in hell they won't believe you, they will brand you like a liar and they will call you crazy, and many churches will have the choice to believe or reject your message, but you will not stop alerting my people whether they receive this message or not, you must alert them against customs and trend of the world, they are following the fashion and lifestyle of the women of the world that don't have me and don't know the father, you are not of the world, just as I am not of the world those of the world live according to trend and fashion and practice all these things because there is no Christ in them, but we know him and we have his instruction, we have the Holy Spirit of God in our life that guides us in truth, this principality of fashion spoke word of arrogance, the Lord said to me, do no mind her, just speak what I'm showing you, at that moment I saw eyebrow tweezers in this place, which is the headquarter of the principality of fashion, where they were worms, I said to the Lord what is this, he told me this is the brush that many of my servant used to take off the eyebrows, and when they do that they are in rebellion and they are not walking with me, beloved sister, when you remove your eyebrows, you don't agree with what God gave you and you go against the word of God, many think in their hearts, why can't woman look pretty, in truth those who speak this way are undecided in their thoughts because they are in error you will know the truth and the truth will set you free, among the item of the goddess and principality of women lifestyle I saw her dyes, that many of God's servant are using in order to change the natural color of their hair that the Lord gave them, they are doing the contrary of my word, many don't want to look old and they hide behind these items, when my people that have black hair are trying to change the natural hair that I gave them they are trying to correct me, others are doing strands in the hair, all this trend in lifestyle originate from the principalities of hell.
This principality of lust want to get you stain and impure and to get you dirty, the Lord said my daughter look, what do you see, when I look where the Lord was pointing, I said to the Lord these are skirts and waist skirt, he said to me, these fashion are from this principality because Satan doesn't rest, he knows women of God are giving up pants so he came up with the fashion of waist skirts, as we kept walking the Lord told me, see what's there, when I look I saw nail polish pass, the Lord told me, my servant are tempted to use all the nail polish colors you are seeing in this fashion edition, understand that Satan is aware that many sisters won't paint their nails and they are going for this polish pass, the Lord showed me the nail polish pass which was meant to brighten nails, this product was also created by Satan for the servants of the Lord and many ladies that think it's beautiful, thus many sisters use this, sister, may the world trend and fashion don't stop you from hearing the voice of the many shepherds preaching against adornment and skirts rising higher above the knees, God is not pleased with the skirts above knees that were designed in hell, where I saw belts of various colors, the Lord showed me all kind of earrings, necklaces and bracelets ready to be sent to the surface, many of God women attempted to use these articles that are filthy, there is temptation as God's servant inside churches want to dress according to the trend and fashion. The church is being infiltrated by this principality of hell sent by Satan causing disruption, thus there are few preachers denouncing short skirt which is causing men to sin and leading them to hell. I saw in hell many things that have entered the church which I am exposing, I saw in hell is what is entering the churches like dance move design by demon, even conservative Pentecostals are accepting theatrical practices within the church, I saw principalities in hell inventing dance move to be infiltrated in churches, which I am denouncing, for God children to overcome and be effective it is an imperative for local churches to preach sound doctrine and stop worldly trend and fashion from entering holy places, those that are established as watchmen and gatekeeper, should be prudent, vigilant and watching, they should not let the Lord's church be contaminated by article infiltrated by principality of hell, where I saw beach dresses, in hell fashion design exposing breast of ladies were made. These fashion made in hell were to be brought in the church, God's servant are not to follow the women of the world dressing indecently with dress made in hell exposing their breast, this principality that the Lord showed me in hell was also coming up with shoes like high heels, this shoes are from hell sneakers that are colorful I saw them in hell as well, they are in fashion, woe to those who like to celebrate supper, woe to those who like to exchange gifts at Christmas, woe to those who like to put lights flashing when Christmas comes, woe to those who like tree of Christmas indoors for all this comes from the hell, many are sleeping, beware of customs of the world.